Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to episode 2 of our vlogs. I should I should probably start talking with taking my face mask off. Um, you can get these face masks at vividmotorsports.com.au So jump on the website, grab one for yourself. Um, so today, no coincidence, I've got a, a GTR hoodie on. So we're going to be heading over to Lance's workshop, so Garage 35 Racing. And we're going to be checking out two of his GTRs. Um, I've got a full build spec of the vehicles. So we're going to be checking that out today. So we're going to have a walk around both of them and see what they're about. Uh, also at the workshop we've got Jason's R33 GTR. So that's sitting there. Give a quick walk around the vehicle. Give you a full build spec of that as well. At the end of this video, uh, I've got a special treat for you. So Lance is now the new owner of Heathcote Park Raceway, the drag strip. Um, I've got his plans and what he wants to do in the next few years for that drag strip. So stay tuned, end of this video. Um, I'll give you what he's got planned. Yeah, we have a quick rundown of Jason's Series 3 R33 GTR V-Spec in Midnight Purple with 911 horsepower tuned by Danilo Performance. So the car rolls on some gold CE28Ns, 18 by 10 and a half square, wrapped in 265 808Rs. The power plant, Tomei 2.8 litre stroker, Trojan Motorsport spec head with Jun cams, hyper-tuned plenum, fuel rail, and platinum racing R35 call kit and trigger kit. It also has billet cam covers. Um, airflow comes from a Precision Turbo Gen 2 6870, uh, Turbo Smart 45mm wastegate, race port blow off valves, FPR 3000, eBoost 2, semen deca injectors, Walbro 460 pumps in a custom 7 litre surge tank. The show is run by Haltech Elite 2500 ECU with AM color dash. It's got a PPG 1 to 5 straight cut gearbox, 8 pot front and rear brake kit with a full catalogue of hard race and IKEA formula suspension under the car. The car is currently for sale, so if you're interested, please send us a message on our socials and we'll get you the contacts you require. Welcome to Garage 35 Racing. Here we have Mad 35. She's run a 7.95 at 185 mph. It's the first R35 GTR in Australia to run a 7 second pass and still the fastest mph record holder. For brakes, we've got an AMS carbon ceramic 392mm up front and 380mm on the rear. Special race pads to suit the carbon ceramic. Coming to the engine, we've got a fully built 3.8 litre, which runs full-time on E85 with a MoTeC M150 ECU. ETS race front mount intercooler, teal blow valves, Garrett G35's 105 turbos, teal 44mm external wastegate, Boost Logic inlet manifold with 12 injectors. Now moving to interior, we've got the beautiful Technocraft seats, which Lance can literally daily this car with them. They're comfortable, but also great for racing in. Center of the car, we've got the Shep Trans Stage 6 2800 plus horsepower with 2000 plus torque and a Dobson Extreme gear set from 1 to 6. Also nicely finished with a mine steering wheel and a Motec C127 dash with logging. The car on the street runs Ray's ZE40's 18x12 and 18x10 drag radials. And obviously this car is part of our H7, which is in 0 to 400 meters within 7 seconds record holders club. Behind those nice wheels, we've got some Billet DSS Pro front and rear axles with custom hubs, with all Billet diff housing. The car's finished really nicely with some Zeal carbon side skirts, and as you can see up back there, AMS Sabon carbon ducktail boot. Now everyone, this is Lance's street car. This is his daily um, you'll see his race car next, which is going to be Sin 35. But what I'm going to show you is some videos of Mad 35 at the racetrack. So let's go. Here we have Sin 35, which is the quickest R35 GTR in Australia, running a 7.73 at 172 mile per hour. She rolls on BLAC front beadlock drag wheels with Hoosier slicks and rear beadlock drag wheels with Mickey Thompson slicks. Helping her stop is an AMS drag brake setup, 370mm yeah, up front and 280mm on the rear. Exterior is a Saibon carbon everything, including front guards, doors and bonnet. 
For that slipstream at high speed, we have a T1 Sabre on carbon rear drag wing and boot, and of course, dual Stroud shoots. Transmission, getting a shifting, is a Shep Trans Stage 6, 2800 plus horsepower, 2000 plus torque, with Dobson Extreme gear set from 1 to 6. We've also got billet DSS Pro rear axles with custom hubs and a Willow billet front diff housing. Coming to the fruitful part, we've got the engine. It's a billet built 4.3 litre block, which runs full time on methanol, Motec M150 ECU, ETS Super Race front mount intercooler with a dry sump oil system, teal blow off valves, custom oil and air separator, mechanical fuel pump, AMS billet 12 injector manifold with ID. 2,200 injectors feeding that fuel. Right there, we've got the Precision 76-75 Gen 2 turbos with 44mm teal external wastegates. As you can see, this car is set up for race. So it's a little bit different to Mad 35. Sin 35 is a race car. Very classy. Even the interior, even though it's a race car, is set up like a street car. We've got all your controls for all your air conditioning, all your screens. It does have a full cage and Lexan windows. We've got the Momo quick release steering wheel, Motec C127 dash with logging, and of course Lance loves those Technocraft carbon seats. They are very comfortable, but also very safe. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some shots of the Sin 35 on a racetrack. So we've pretty, got a pretty cool uh, burnout, a fifth gear burnout from one to five gear burnout in an R35 GTR, and then we've got some runs down the quarter mile as well. So here we go. There you go, you just got to check out three cool GTRs from Melbourne, Australia. So make sure you follow Garage 35 Racing on Instagram, give the Facebook page for Heathcote Park Raceway a like, um, and definitely, definitely don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down the bottom of this video. So you can follow the channel, The World of Vivid, um, maybe even give the video a like if you've enjoyed it, um, and would love if you could share the video on your socials. Like I said, as the audience grows, um, our content will also grow. So thank you for watching vlog number two and stay safe, take care, peace out.